Hello, Foxy Dudes and Dudettes. Today's a very special day. We're gonna review and go over Indochino. We're gonna talk about my experience with them, but not just that. I've got a special guest. My partner in crime, Yaya, otherwise known as Young Pro Style, is also gonna give his opinion. If that sounds interesting, meet me right back here after the jump. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to The Well-Rounded Dude. My name is Chris. If you're new here, welcome. We cover a whole bunch of topics on this channel, such as men's style, grooming, fitness. Today, we're gonna go over the suit. And we're gonna talk about my experience with Indochino, but not just that, we are getting another opinion. Because a lot of times when you watch these videos, you only get one person's opinion. I figured, why not do two? So, my buddy, Yaya, Young Pro Style, He's going to be showing up in a little bit and giving you his experience with Indochino and his style because we have a little bit of a different style. I go for more solid colors, darker colors. He's more of a patterns guy He go and for more earth tones. So I figured it would be good to get both of our perspectives and experiences with Indochino. So what is Indochino? Indochino is an online made-to-measure custom suiting business. Fantastic service, I got to say. Kind of spoiler alert. I'm wearing one of their suits right now. Indochino is great because you can go online at 2 a.m. in your underwear and buy a suit. You can look at different colors, styles, fabrics. They have ties, chinos, overcoats as well, and it's all made to fit you. All you have to do is take your measurements. You, I highly recommend if you're going to do it that way to get a friend to help you, get somebody, your mom, your girlfriend, somebody to help measure you so you get the proper measurements and they tell you how to do it and you can enter those measurements in online and within two weeks you'll have a suit delivered to your door but what i recommend you do what i highly recommend you do is go to an indochino showroom and get measured there they're going to take many more measurements than what they ask you for online and your end result will be better you'll get a suit that you're absolutely thrilled with as compared to maybe having to take one that you bought online to the tailor. But what's cool about Indochino is even if it doesn't come right and it can be altered, they'll reimburse you for up to $75 of your tailoring fees, which is great. And to be honest, that's what I had to do with this suit. I went, I got measured, everything was fine. I talked to the girl. She asked me questions about how I like to wear my suits. What kind of shirts do I wear? What, what impression was I trying to make? Where was I going to wear this suit? And I told her all that, and I got measured up, and when the suit came, it was good. It wasn't perfect, it was good. There was a couple of things that were off that I had to take to my tailor to get done. There was like a dimple over here, and the sleeve length just wasn't right. You should always have a quarter of an inch of your shirt cuff, about a quarter of an inch of your shirt cuff showing, and it, it just wasn't there. I took it to my tailor. They altered it. Indochino refunded me 75 bucks. Easy peasy, no questions asked. Okay. Now, if your suit does come and it's not quite right and you gotta take it in to get altered, be sure that your tailor gives you the measurements of what he adjusted because then you can report that back to Indochino and they'll change your profile. So next time when you buy a suit, you won't have any issues, it'll come perfectly. Fingers crossed. So that brings us on to the next thing about made to measure clothing is I think a lot of guys get their expectations up high because they think, oh, I'm getting a custom suit. It's going to be perfect as soon as I get it out the box. And that's not always the case, especially for your first suit. Now, Yaya, you'll hear in a little bit, he had a completely different experience. They nailed it for him the first time. So he had no issues. But for me, it was different. Now, am I happy with my suit now? Yeah, now it fits perfectly. I'm very happy with it. But I did have to take it to a tailor. So you may be asking yourselves, why should I go with Indochino over just going to the mall and picking up a suit? And the answer to that is, Indochino, the suit is made for you. At the mall, it's made to try to fit every body type. So you may spend like 50 bucks or 100 bucks less getting a good sale, if you do, 
at Macy's or another department store, but you're going to lose that money in the tailoring to get it to look okay. And it won't look perfect. It'll look okay. Whereas Indochino, you're spending a good amount of money, but that suit is going to fit you flawlessly in theory. So I went to Indochino. There's not a lot of stores around, but I made the trip to Philadelphia, which is about five hours away from here, to go get measured for this suit. I got there. I talked to the girl. She was actually a manager, I believe, of Indochino. She measured me up. It took about eh, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, they give you like a, uh, a basting garment, I believe is what they call it, where it's just like a mock-up and you they, they figure out like what looks good in you and what you're looking for and they pin it and then they record your measurements and then they send it off and you know you pick what fabric you want. I This is a Hemsworth a, a charcoal suit. That's what I wanted was a charcoal. I recommend you guys go with, if it's your first suit, go with charcoal or navy. Do not go black. Black is reserved for formal wear. Go charcoal or navy. That's going to fit pretty much any function you're going to need to go to in a suit. If you need a funeral, a wedding, a job interview, charcoal or navy is going to check all those boxes that you can you can wear those in. So that's what I highly recommend. Go charcoal or navy. So yeah, I spent about a half hour at the Indochino store in Philadelphia. I met with the manager and we walked through the different things that I could do to the suit, all the customizations, like the pick stitching. That's a good sign of a custom suit at high quality, functioning buttonholes. Good style tip too, guys. Always leave the first one unbuttoned. It lets people know that your suit is of high quality. And also, I was able to uh, get it monogrammed and we discussed like colors and such. But I, you pick out everything that you want in your suit. The lining, I went with like a burgundy paisley lining. It's fantastic. So if this is your first suit, there's a couple things I highly recommend that you consider. A lot of it, it all comes down to taste. But for the modern suit, I highly recommend. Like I said before, the pick stitching, you definitely want to have that. Functioning buttonholes, you definitely want to. A monogram is cool. You don't have to do that. But, you know, pick a lining. Two vents on the back of your jacket. No pleats on your pants. Always go for a tighter fit at the bottom. You want to taper your pants down at the ankles. It gives you a much better silhouette. Also, too, guys, I recommend you get a three-piece suit. Three-piece suits are, on the formal scale, they're probably just below a tuxedo. But I really think every guy should have a three-piece suit. Not that every occasion calls for it, but guess what? If you just need a two-piece suit, don't wear the vest. Two-piece suit, easy. But if you need a vest, throw it on. Three-piece suit. Every guy does need a suit, so I highly recommend it. Even if you don't go with Indochino, there are other brands that you could, you could go with. Um, but every guy should have a suit because it's confidence. It's, it's, the whole thing is confidence. You'll feel better about yourself. People will respect you. It's like the effect that lingerie has on women, except we can wear it outside where women can't. So a couple other things I want to mention. For me, like I said, I go with solid colors a lot. Um, I'm, I'm a dark, solid color guy. That's my thing. So I want to introduce my brother from another mother, Yaya. He's going to talk about patterns, different colors that he, he likes to rock together. And we're going to let him get to his thing in a minute. But one more piece of advice from me before I let you go is your pocket square. A gentleman always has a pocket square. But I would be remiss if I did not mention that your pocket square and your tie should not match. I know they sell them together, but you're not supposed to wear them together. What you should be doing is matching your pocket square with your shirt. That is much more classy. Please do not match your tie and your pocket square. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you Yaya at Young Pro Style. 
Hook him up, brother. Hey, how you doing, Chris? Thanks for having me a part of the channel. Um, it's a great pleasure to be here. I love what you're doing over there at uh, the well-rounded dude and uh, glad to take part in it. So without further ado, let's get started. So for those that don't know me, I go by the Elias Young Pro Style. Um, my real name is Yaya. Um, you can follow me on IG if you want to follow my classic menswear journey. Um, so today I'm gonna be talking about how I would wear patterns as well as my honest review of Indochino and what I think of their suit too. All right, so today I'm actually wearing uh, a, a suit separate today. I'm wearing the Indochino, um, I'm wearing this Indochino uh, jacket. Um, I have the pants with it. It's a full suit. Um, I love it. This is one of my favorite jackets. Uh, I was able to customize from scratch and it was very painless and uh, it's heavily patterned. So. For me, when I'm wearing patterns, I love, you know, anything checks. I love anything plaid. Um, I think that it really does any type of outfit justice. Um, you know, it is a bit of a loud print. So typically when you're wearing patterns, you might want to have one loud print and everything else kind of be subtle. So what I'm wearing today is, you know, this simple jacket here. I keep the pocket square super simple, just a white pocket square, um, a white uh, dress shirt here. And then on my bottom half, you can't see it, but I'm just wearing some regular mid wash denim, some loafers just to keep it super simple. So that's typically how I wear pattern. You know, if you have a jacket, the jacket typically is a bit loud. Or if you have a pair of pants, I typically don't do the bottom half, but I would do the top half. Um, so if you're wearing any type of check, if you're doing any type of plaid, and the cool thing about patterns that I really, really like is that you can actually, you know, take a color. So like, for instance, if you can see here, this it's like a little bit, it's burgundy, it's gray, and it has like a line of blue you might not be able to see. But the cool part about patterns is it's kind of a cheat code because um, if you, you know, you could wear it with a, a gray pair of slacks or trousers, um, you could wear it with maybe, you know, a chino, um, if you're, you know, you can take burgundy out if you want to play on the burgundy, that little line of blue, you can play on that with the sweater. Um, so it's really a cheat code, you know, when you don't really know how to mix patterns as well. You know, when you get a jacket that has a couple colors in it, you can play on that color. Um, you know, and kind of keep it real subtle, maybe a different shade of that blue or a different shade of like that burgundy or whatever it is that's in your jacket. So that's typically how I wear it and I highly recommend it for beginners. Once you get your go-to suit, your gray or your blue, um, you know, navy or your gray, um, suit everyday suit you know your suit for any type of business ventures or interviews or anything like that i highly recommend getting something with some sort of pattern in it so such as this now for my review i wanted to give you guys a look at one of the jackets that i actually customized aside from this jacket where i can give you a little bit of a close-up of the details and everything like that so this is one of the jackets um it typically comes with here typically comes with the Indochino on an Indochino hanger, specifically for the jacket or the suit. It has the string here for the pants. This is the jacket that I actually created. Um, I customized, as you can see, you can customize everything from the inside of it here. Um, you can add your, um, your logos here. So like I put, that's actually backwards, but it's Y and C. Um, looking at it my way, uh, Y and C, I'm Yaya and my fiance is Chelsea. So for our engagement photos, I had got this made um, a, a while ago for that. Um, as far as with the buttons, you can customize the buttons and whatnot. Um, the pockets, I prefer patch pockets. I prefer patch pockets because I just think that um, it's, you know, it's super casual, it's not as, you know, business, it's a little more relaxed. Um, as far as with the wide lapels, I love wide lapels. It's one of my favorite things. And also, this is also a double-breasted jacket. So if I put it up here, as you can see, it's a double-breasted jacket, um, and it has a herringbone pattern to it, if you can see that, which is pretty cool. So now, my review. So what do I think of Indochino? Uh, I think it's a great brand, um, especially for, for those that's starting, you want, you know, that one go-to suit or a couple blazers or some chinos, some shirts. Uh, I think it's an excellent brand uh, for the price point. You can't really beat it um, in the market. It does really, really well. The quality is pretty decent. Um, I can't argue with that. Um, so far, I have, I want to say, three suits by Indochino, three suits by Indochino. When I first started my journey into men's style, um, it was one of the 
first things I went to, I did research on, you know, different suit brands and, you know, what I what I like and what I should get into, you know, who I should go to. And Indochino just kind of popped up and I ran with it. I tried my first, I, I read some reviews, everything turned out pretty good. And, you know, I basically just pulled the trigger and bought my first suit uh, for a summer wedding back in, I want to say 2016 or 2017. And ever since then, man, I've just been in love with the brand. Um, delivery typically takes around two to three weeks. Um, it's always been on time. I've never had a late shipment. Um, so far as with the process, I think the process is cool. You make an appointment and you basically go into like a kind of like a uh, like a showroom in one of your nearby stores so i live in philadelphia so my uh showroom for me was in the king of prussia mall in pa uh and out in the suburban the suburbs of uh of pennsylvania and um, i was just able to make an appointment right online i went in i met with basically like a consultant if you will they sized me up um they asked me what i liked and you know for me you know, at, at first I was a huge fan of like the wide uh, peak lapels. This is actually a peak lapel here. Fan of wide lapels. I am still a fan of wide lapels. I don't wear as many peak lapels as I used to, but the peak lapels was one of my favorites and I love to kind of mimic that Tom Ford-esque style. So um, this is like super wide, super 70s look. And um, and yeah, and I just kind of went, went with that look. The guy kind of knew exactly what I was talking about. So. He pretty much knew what, you know, he knew his stuff. He knew what he was talking about and whatnot. So it was someone I could bounce ideas off and as far as with the sizes of my pant leg and things like that. So we got everything right. Um, and, you know, I didn't have any issues from there. So the cool thing about uh, Indochino is if, say, for instance, your sizing is as correct you could bring it to your nearby tailor and I think I think they'll reimburse you a max of $75 um, I haven't been on the site as a recent but when I was ordering uh, I want to say about last year about a year ago um, that's what it was it could be higher it could be a little bit lower but $75 is what it was and that's great I mean honestly if, if the sizing isn't right it's kind of like Indochino is like hey that's our bad. Uh, let's fix it. Let's reimburse you up to sixty, seventy-five dollars. Um, so you just basically get it done at your nearby tailor, and then you basically show it to them, and they'll reimburse you just like that. Which is awesome. Overall, I think far as with the quality, uh, I think the quality is great. Um, obviously, as you go up, they have a, a couple lines. So they have the regular line, they have the premium line, then they have the luxury line. Um, you can tell a slight difference in the fabrics. Um, I did wear luxury for a wedding uh, not too not too long ago, no November of 2020. I was at a wedding and I got some pants and it was pretty cool. Um, the, you know, you can actually feel the higher quality. Um, you can feel the difference. I typically uh, I typically stick with the premium line, uh, which is a slightly a slight premium price. Um, I think it's worth it, um, you know, for sure, especially like I said, if you're getting your workhorse suit, you want a suit that you can just beat up, a suit that, you know, it might be your first suit, it might be your first venture into, you know, style, men's style, um, I highly recommend it. So another thing I want to point out with Indochino is their selection. They have a huge selection of stuff. I mean, it goes beyond suits. You can get suits, you can have individual sports coats, you can have chinos, dress slacks. Uh, you know, dress shirts. I have a few dress shirts that, uh, French cuff shirts um, that were made and I love them and I have my initials on them and everything. And, you know, I, they're, they're great quality. Um, you can pick from a number of different fabrics, you know, um, they have the, the fall season, the winter seasons, they have your wools, your flannels, your cashmeres, uh, your mohairs, you know, whatever you're into, um, seersucker, linen, I mean, you name it, they have down there every fabric. Um, and then you can also, I believe you can purchase a, uh, a swatch, which is kind of like, uh, not swatch like the watch company, but the swatch is a, a fabric. You can pick the fabrics that you want and they'll send it to you and you actually feel the fabric. So I highly recommend that, especially if you really want to nail the fabrics down, pick a bunch. I think it, it wasn't that much money. I forget what the price was, but it wasn't too bad. And you can basically just, you know, Go to town, fill in the fabrics, and you can get to keep them, which is awesome. They also sell um, tape measures. Um, I think they sell uh, cuff links, ties, pocket squares, you know, a bunch of different things like that. So it's it's a vast majority. And I think they even sell, um, well, I know they even sell uh, coats as well, like trenches, pea coats, raincoats, things like that. So you can customize all of that stuff. So I think overall with the, with the quality, 
how many things that they have available, you can't beat Indochino. So the moment of truth, guys, um, what do I think of Indochino um, based on everything I was just saying? Um, I think it's a great brand. Um, I think the quality is great for the price point. Um, you know, like I said, for what you're paying, you're getting a lot. Um, I have no issue with that. And also just for the record, this is not sponsored. Um, but overall, I think out of, I would say five stars, I'd probably give it probably a four, four out of five, especially if you're just beginning. Um, now, obviously as your journey gets, you know, if you get more into this, the style journey, you know, you might look towards other brands and whatnot, you know, your suit supplies and whatnot, but Indochino is probably one of the best starting points that I can name right now. So hope that helped you guys um chris thanks again man for you know the invite on the channel uh, like i said i love what you do man i love the community that you're building um just happy to be here man anytime you need me just hit me up you already know man i'm a phone call away i'll be happy to jump on a video and, and do anything with you all right guys well take care have a good day off or a good day in general if you're off if you're not off and uh yeah i'll talk to you soon see ya so once again, thank you, Yaya. I really appreciate it, brother. You're always welcome here on this channel. Guys, be sure to follow Yaya on his Instagram handle, uh, at YoungProStyle. That'll be linked in the description. Okay. Also, too, please check out our website, thewellroundeddude.com. Check out our merch page. Dude15 gets you 15% off your total purchase. Check us out on social media. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Drop a like, please, drop a like. Help me fight the YouTube algorithm. Also too, for a future video, if you wanna see me do another suit video where I talk about the ways you can dress up or dress down a suit, that's on the way, but if you guys really wanna see it, let me know in the comments. All right guys, we will catch you next time. See ya. What was the last thing I just said? I don't remember. Uh...